May 10th. We are um, celebrating indeed the uh, Thursday of the sixth week of Easter. <clears throat> but also we have to remember, I would like to share with you two feasts, feasts today that we celebrate today in different parts of the world. First of all, um, in Spain, uh, they are celebrating St. John of Avila, who is a patron saint of, um, of diocesan priests. And also, not to be confused with St. John of the Cross, by the way, St. John of Avila, he lived at uh, the same time, at the same century, 16th century, but um, he was uh, truly just uh, canonized in the 20th century. A great spiritual writer and good spiritual director, he actually uh, exchange uh, correspondence with St. Teresa of Avila or St. Ignatius of Loyola or St. Peter of Alcantara and so forth. And he he was also the means that the Lord used for the conversion of St. Francis of Borgia uh, in a very, very powerful way. But I'll tell, about, I'll tell you about that some of the day. But this is one of the pieces I'd like to share with you. Then we also have Father Damien, who died in Molokai. You know, with the, with the people that were uh, uh, that were sick with this leprosy, and also in other places of the world today is Mother's Day. So I would just like to mention that, in a way, what Jesus is trying to tell us today about weeping and mourning, uh, and then our grief will become joy. He also, in another place in the, in the Gospels, he mentions that this is the case with a mother when she's about to give birth. When the time comes, there's a lot of anxiety, but then when the child arrives, the mother is full of joy. And this is the joy that will never be taken from us. And this is the joy and the happiness that Pope Francis is also insisting in, in his different documents. The joy of the gospel or, um, or um, the, um, the, the joy or the happiness of love when he talks about the family and so forth. So this joy is um, a goal for us because it means that we're in the presence of God who is joy and happiness. But of course, as Vatican I said, the Lord God was the most happy, felicissimus, in heaven. But he decided to become a man. Why? Because he wanted to share his joy with us. So, in a way, uh, he became, as we've, we've said before, not only a shepherd, not only a teacher, but especially a priest, symbolized by the altar in the sanctuary. A priest, and we've said here before, that means a bridge. Pontifex, pons pontis, which means bridge. So pontifex is a maker or, or the builder of bridges, and that's what we are through baptism, priests that connect God with men. But in a way, my dear brethren, today, mothers, whether it's physical mothers or spiritual mothers, they're always a priest. They're always a priest, a priest that connects God with <coughs> her children. And that's also what priests are. The other two priests that we're celebrating today, St. John of Avila and St. Father Damien. Connections, bridges that, come, that bring their brethren close to God. And this is what we should aim for. Now, this, of course, entails mourning, weeping, those things proper to giving birth because it is not easy not only to give birth but if we follow St. Paul when he talks about his uh, spiritual fatherhood it does take a lot and you know it better than I to educate our children in the faith educate and form our beloved and ourselves in the faith of Christ 
because we go back and forth and we need to be patient with our flock and with ourselves because we go back and forth as well due to our human condition. So this uh, example that the Lord gives us that he himself endured through his passion and that's exactly what he's talking about with the disciples in a little while you will not see me in a little while you will see me he had to endure his passion and his death and then rise for a definitive happiness in communion with God and with men and so we are called to do the same we are called to be priests we're called, we're called to be fathers and mothers of our brothers and sisters. And this entails this weeping and mourning. But we should all keep in mind that the definitive state is joy to be in communion with God. This is the joy of motherhood. This is the joy of priesthood. Let us ask for this today to our Lord, our High Priest, our Father.